So moving on to class two of seed creative thinking projects for odd weeks. Now, just a reminder, same as class one, you have 20 minutes on this day to complete creative thinking project. So when you open up uh, the CTP from Gates, it will bring you to this page. It will look familiar to you because you've already seen it during class one. So just feel free to pass through, pass through all the material that you've already covered and you'll arrive to part two and it is class two so you'll know that you're studying or using the right material so continue on from this page and you will arrive to the first part of class two which has a focus on arts and crafts now you'll want to begin by reading the direction so read it to students draw games that your friends like to play the most on sports day and you'll need to break that down with students. So you can ask questions such as, what day are we talking about? Students can respond, sports day. And who are we talking about? Students can respond, our friends. And what do we want to know about our friends? Students can respond with games. But it won't be enough instructions. So the best way for you to clarify more is to show them an example. So if I was leading a class of SEED students, I would show them my own example. I would first begin by communicating to them that I want them to draw some of their friends. So I would draw a boy or a girl. And then I would also communicate to them how many friends they should draw. They also need to draw the sports that their friends like to play. So possibly I draw a basketball. And then again, I'd communicate how many different sports I wanted to see from them. And then students will need time to complete this. So for you to give instructions and for students to complete this activity, I would estimate it would be around six to seven minutes. So you'll definitely need to push students not to draw the most beautiful pictures because we have limited time. So after that, you can move on to the next page and it will bring you to the second half of the script that they will be using for class three. So you follow the same methodology that you know from class one. Fill in uh, about two lines with students. And then after you fill in those two lines, you wanna give students time to finish their scripts. And again, that would take about five to six minutes for you to give instructions and then also let students finish it on their own. And that will leave you with about eight minutes for them to um, stand up and practice in front of you so that they're not shy when they record during class three. Now, one thing I do want to point out um, is that you may wonder why I asked students to draw four friends and also four sports. But if we look at this script here, you can see that it is asking for four different friends and four different sports. So I do try to take into consideration what the script is asking for when I am giving instructions, uh, especially for the arts and crafts part of this. And once they've finished practicing their script, then you have completed the creative thinking project for class two.